what's up guys welcome to another soul video so in this video we will be looking at what is soul and how soul works uh, before actually I proceed I would really appreciate that if you subscribe to this channel and if you after watching if you like this video and uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends it would really help the channel so yeah so after Taylor will introduce uh, Soul and Octane to the uh, to the in the Lorakon 2021. So there has been a lot of buzz around uh, that what is Soul and how it will work, how it works in January. So in this video we'll look at how it is working in January. So yeah, let's go ahead and see. Okay, so this is a definition from Soul website and also from the PHP.net website. So Soul is a high performance networking framework using an image driven asynchronous non-blocking IO model. So yeah, this seems like a pretty big word, but uh, these are not. I will help you understand all of these terms. So don't worry about it. So these are just big words. So you don't have to worry about it, don't be scared. Okay, so now these are the four terms that we're going to look at. So first of all, it is a networking framework using an event-driven API and asynchronous and non-blocking IO. So what is networking framework? Uh, so networking framework mean like uh, you can build network application with this like uh, real-time web services or chat system using tcp or socket and in our case like being uh, me as a web developer we can also use it to build um, very high performing scalable and concurrent web applications so yeah this is what we mean by networking uh, networking framework and uh, for the rest of this room i have separate slides so we'll go through these so by event driven we mean like tool actually invokes uh, his invokes these things based on the events like whenever there is a request received so it will create a new coroutine that will handle this uh, request for example whenever there is an operation complete IO operation complete then it will do something like this task worker will delegate and this data to another worker and then this worker will actually resume the process when uh, for example it is waiting for data to data is available to data. so it will not wait actually it will uh, delegate this to another worker and once this is done so it will fire an event okay data is ready and so this data will be used by another worker and then it will start doing its job for example there is an, another event that we are very familiar with the response is ready so it will take this response and send it to reactor and then this reactor will talk over and send the response back to the user so this is what we mean so a tool is um, an event driven framework so uh, everything is done based on the event so uh, most of the time it is just uh, staying uh, asleep um, whenever there is nothing to do so it's uh, there is just an timer tick that is going on to keep it alive and see like okay so uh, this actually refresh all the all the workers okay so in the next slide we will look at async so what do we mean by async so uh, Swool is an asynchronous framework as well so this is asynchronous using like is it achieved like asynchronous behavior using coroutine so what is the what the heck is coroutine so you can understand coroutine uh, as a thread uh, within the school server it is not actually uh, a system level thread so the problem with the system level thread and um, uh, the limitation of the system level thread is system level thread only operates on one core uh, but in the coroutine like coroutine is a thread uh, that is created by the soul, soul uh, in itself so it is a very lightweight and also like it can that due to the soul actually uh, internal API so it can operate on multiple cores so we'll look at like uh, so whenever the, uh, we'll look at what coroutine um, how it works so whenever there is a request for example there is a foo.com slash home so for each request actually it creates a coroutine so this coroutine takes on and uh, start executing the business logic uh, there is so whenever there is a blocking call like maybe file io or database there is a coroutine scheduler that uh, suspend this coroutine and free up all the space address space and everything that it needs uh, so this coroutine is suspended it's not executing this is not taking any active space so this space can be used by another coroutine so this is how it actually it achieve like uh, asynchronous behavior and um, uh, so once this file io is done so coroutine schedule actually again this event is fired okay data is available to be processed so uh, so then coroutine actually picks it up it uh, resumes the process it resumes the process and it executes the rest of the business logic create the response and send back to the user so the reason it is able to do that that coroutine like uh, it creates a coroutine uh, within the soul server so it is able to manage all the aspects of the coroutine like the memory space it's using uh, the state of the coroutine as uh, you can actually enable this coroutine disable this coroutine and um, one more thing that we i uh, just want to highlight is 
So whenever you're running this full server, you can actually control uh, how much coroutines, maximum coroutines that you need at any given point of time. So yeah. Uh, so this, these are the coroutines. So, uh, so whenever like there is a blocking call, so it's not actually blocking at that time. It uh, start executing any any other any other thing that it, any other process that it needs. Uh, another request might it might be another request uh, to provide the concurrent behavior. So yeah, this is all about coroutines. So in this uh, in this slide we are looking at non-blocking I/O. So what do we mean by non-blocking I/O? Is uh, actually let me go ahead and. Uh, so non-blocking I/O mean uh, so whenever there is a request, uh, so it exists. This uh, pink area you can uh, think of as a processor like your CPU is working on something, and when it reaches a gray area, there is a blocking call. It uh, is going to maybe database or file I/O. So at this time, so uh, this thread actually goes uh, delegate this whole process to another task worker and uh, move it to suspended state. So whenever this is done, so it resumes the processing again. So what this means is like uh, there is no blocking I/O in the main uh, main core routine. So so at that time, whenever there is a fi blocking file I/O, so another process can actually get kick in, and it can work during this process. And so this whole time is not wasted, and another process actually can kick in. Okay. So to look at like how Sul uh, does this or improve the performance, so we can actually look at uh, this diagram here. So so this is a traditional Nginx or PHP uh, how Apache. Uh, works so so whenever there is a request so nginx actually map this to another domain or apache actually map this domain to uh, a folder in uh, your hard disk so this whole application is then loaded into memory and then this whole application is run and uh, based on the request parameters cookies and so this application is run and the response is created and then it's sent to user this is a traditional uh, application so how does tool actually improve this so uh, whenever actually you write your code at the Sul HTTP server and then you start this server, so what it does is Sul uh, actually create a Sul server, a Sul server, and your CPU it create a process here. So what this process does is it takes your PHP application and it loads it into the memory. So uh, what happens after this is so now whenever there is a request you don't need to actually uh, for each request you don't need to load your application from the hard disk to memory the application is already in the memory so based on the request parameters and uh, cookies you actually just uh, execute the business logic and then serve the response so a lot of heavy lifting that uh, we were doing from loading application from hard disk to memory so this is all removed and uh, all the task worker actually uh, can also are being operated under the same process so they kind of share the address space as well so this will actually provide an atomic way and one uh, to actually share the resources between uh, different task workers and uh, uh, so yeah and this is it like this is a very high level uh, introduction of how soul works and let me know if you have any question or comments or if i confuse you more than before so i will try to address them in my next video uh, till then see you cheers bye bye